All right, guys, for the app, what we need to do is get that password, which is on the sticker. If it's an older unit and there's no sticker, it's actually written on the unit itself. But today we've obviously got it here. So all we need to do is first thing, go into your app store, type in Blackview the way they spell it and download this app right here. Once you've got that downloaded, head over to your settings, Wi-Fi, and you'll see the Blackview 750S, perfect. Now we just input that password. Then it will connect. Now, if you get stuck right here, where you don't see Blackview 750S, every if it's a if it's a 750, sorry, you will see it. If it's a 900S, what you need to do is just on the unit itself. There's a little button here. Just give that one press, and you'll hear us say Wi-Fi on. So the 750S, the Wi-Fi stays on. The 900S, you need to turn it on by pressing that button. Anyway, now we're connected. Head over to the app, go right into Blackview Wi-Fi. So here we're going to see our videos. So we see the forward facing camera and the rear facing camera via the arrows. N means normal recording. So if you see blue like this, normal recording. E or green is event. P, parking mode and motion detection. Now these are just little filters. So you can just scroll through the videos that you want to see okay now what we need to do is first things first is look at our camera positions so this is a live view so front camera looks good if we click it up one click all right that's pretty good there I'm gonna leave it there rear camera that's perfect so we see just a bit of the rear wiper there on the tailgate and then we've got full view so that's perfect we'll leave that as it is so now we're happy with that. We look at the firmware, so that's the firmware that it has. What we need to do now is just quickly turn the Wi-Fi off, go into firmware download, pick your model. There it is. Hit OK. Hit OK. Download that. Perfect. Now turn the Wi-Fi back on. And just look up here until there we go we're already reconnected then we hit the little settings tab firmware upgrade okay so what's gonna happen now is this will upload to the unit the unit will then reboot and we'll come back when that happens so after the unit has done the upload rebooted it should sound like this And then we're just going to go back into the phone and we'll wait here until we get that uh, Wi-Fi. So we've already put the password in. Then we head over to, so we wait for that symbol to change like it just has. So now we've got the latest firmware. Now all you need to do is set up the time and date stamp. So that's in firmware settings. So in here as well, you can go through everything. You've got recording options, brightness, obviously time and date, which we'll do now. So here it is plus 10 and daylight savings is on. Then make sure when you change settings, you hit your back arrow. Now you've got all these other settings that you can have a play with. The login, you can change the Wi-Fi password. System settings, LED, all that sort of stuff. I, I usually leave all this standard and just do the time and date. Whatever settings you do decide to change, make sure you hit back arrow, back arrow, save and close. Otherwise it won't save the settings. And you'll hear it reboot. 
it will then reboot with the new settings and I just go here and forget the network and that's it job done so customer keeps that in the glove box we go over the install again look at all of our panels turn the car off make sure parking modes all working go to the back of the car make sure everything looks good and that's it all done so thanks for watching guys if there's anything else you want to see, let us know in the comments below. If there's anything we can improve on, or if you want to see the videos done differently, just let us know, and um, we'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.